Greetings and salutations. This is Evelina Madden, Lady of the Ring. And it's time again for Evelyn O'Malley's Words of the Week. Not to be, con so, not to be confused with Words of the Week. I know, bad pun. It's the jokes, people. Anyways, we come to our first word, and it's veracity. Hey. Hey. And you could probably assume vera from the Latin word, probably meaning good, bad, or, you know, truth, I guess. Like, ver oh, veritas is a good word. <laughs> and veracity. I guess it's the same way as when you put a Y then do a word. Yeah, I can't really go into a lot of explanation about that. I think we're running short. Anyways, the word means rigid and unfailing adherence to the truth, correctness, accuracy. So, this is a word you can use on a lot of the grammar Nazis, especially me. Whenever they try to correct your spe your spelling. <clears throat> or phrase, I guess this is a sentence of a phrase, okay. And what I put down was, uh, grammar Nazis. Okay. The grammar Nazi had a keen veracity when it came to proper grammar. <laughs> Next word is notational. Existing as, or, based on a suggestion, estimate, or theory, not existing in reality. Okay. So, you could say, the thousands of, uh, just, Bieber fans, who just love him, uh, are, uh, are under the notional exploit notional behavior when they want to see his uh, dingle dangle. <laughs> I hate that word. And okay, we'll just say penis. Okay, I hate words like that. When it's the English language even further. So hey, at least you're not the first. Can do that. Um, meander. This was meander. This is something you probably get told when you come home from school and your mom's constantly bugging you about your day. Okay? And it means to wander casually with no set plan and or to ramble. Okay. Now, I don't know where you, what Latin base that word is. You should take Latin regardless anyways. It's a good word. Good place to start when it comes to these things. Right. Next word is obstacles. I'll spell it out. You may not be able to tell what I'm saying. Not because I'm stupid. Not because you're dumb. Because I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. So it's O B S T R E P E R O E S. Uncontrollably nose nosy. 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 Nosy, nosy. <laughs> okay. Anyways, the class was abnormally obstreus yes, due to the first day of school being on a Friday. Yeah, I don't know if you guys look at that, but where I live, they start school early or way late, and of course, you know how it is on Fridays. Is in our class, maybe. Maybe it's not the same. Hey, in our class, it's, uh, we really weren't all that noisy or loud, so. Okay. Now, this is a word I think everyone probably gets enough and has had enough of. It is my favorite, and the word is tirade. 
you can use it a word for long, harsh speech or verbal attack. I'm sorry if I'm looking down a whole lot. I didn't exactly memorize this, so but please do not assume I have bad acting skills. I'm not acting. Just like shut up. Anyways, you could say, "Hey, your mother is going on a tirade about the fact that you won't clean up your room," or "Your father is on a tirade." When it comes to the fact you want to date a teen, a a twenty-one year old vampire, <laughs> the one who wanted him, go for it. Yeah. Anyways, <sighs> thank you for watching and following me here on YouTube. Yeah and be a supportive amount of subscribers. And no, boys, I can't do the t cherry trick. Anyways, yeah, please follow me on my, my, my Twitter, Tumblr, and now my Goodreads. Is where I plan on putting a lot of my book reviews in the next few you know, weeks and months. I promise to get them out at least once a week, but I, yeah, you know how things are. And how lazy I was getting to this point, so. I'm hoping to have at least one book done by the end of this coming weekend, but, you know, slow reader. You know, I'm a very small person, still a slow reader. Anyways. Well, go away. I don't have time for this. Why are you still here? The movie's over. Bye.